negative reinforcement is a challenging term. So let's just start with an example. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I can't keep doing it, but you get the idea. Beep, 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 beep. You put your, it, <laughs> my car's really smart. It knows when I'm getting close and it speeds up. Beep, 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 right? no, So that beeping sound, when you get in your car, you start it up and there's a beeping at you because you haven't put your seatbelt on. You put the seatbelt in, click, right? And, and then the sound goes away. The loss of that sound is the negative part. You're losing something. Hopefully, the loss of that particular sound reinforces you putting your seatbelt on. In my ex in my world, it has. I put that seatbelt on before that sound even comes because it's just so aversive to me. I don't like it at all. So, negative reinforcement, the loss of a stimulus that results in an increase in a behavior. It is not bad. Bad does not mean negative, all right? We are talking about a mathematical value, a loss or an addition. Po negative or positive. We're not talking about good or bad. No moral value here. So negative reinforcement is not a contradiction, as many people will tell you. It is the loss of something to increase a behavior. That's all there is.